What's going on everybody? So today we are doing a Blu-ray collection update because I've had the ability to collect a few more Blu-rays recently due to my birthday happening, due to a disc replay trip, and a Best Buy gift card that came in the mail, which was pretty cool. All I had to do, do was buy $2,500 worth of washer and dryer and they sent me a $60 gift card. Even trade, I guess. But I got a few good Blu-rays out of it, so without any further ado, now that the T is out of the way, let's do it. And so guys, the first one is Boondock Saints. That's right, Boondock Saints is a movie I had on DVD, and I wanted to upgrade it for a long time, and I finally found it on Blu-ray. I was excited to have this, it's a very fun movie. It's got Daryl from The Walking Dead, for those of you who've never seen this. It is a really fun movie, low-budget movie, I believe, and it's got Willem Dafoe. It's tons of fun. I definitely recommend it if you've never seen it, if you like shoot 'em up action movies. Next up is a comedy, and that is The Night Before. Now, I've never owned this, and I've only seen it one time. Has Joseph Gordon-Levitt when he was, like, super popular and still doing movies before he retired from acting, I guess. Is that true? Did Joseph Gordon-Levitt retire from acting? It also has Seth Rogen and Anthony Mackie. Anthony Mackie, of course, from the Marvel movies. Um... And now the new Captain America. So it's actually a really fun movie, really fun comedy. Next up is another comedy, and that one is Vacation. Vacation is a, my, okay, I'm going to get a lot of hate for this, but of all the National Lampoon's Vacation movies, this is the one. And I know it's sacrilegious to say that because this, but it does have Chevy Chase in it. So he did sign off on it. So Vacation, this is the one. It also has Thor in it. So you should check it out. Hilarious. Now, next one I wanted was an upgrade. Now, you guys know I love the original Total Recall movie, and I've never seen the Colin Farrell Total Recall movie that came out a few years ago, and I found it on Blu-ray, and I was like, you know what? I want to give it a try. The old one, while it's classic and I love it, and I do, I even bought it on 4K because I love it so much, I was like, let's give the updated one a try. I tend to like updated movies, so I'm going to give this a try sometime, maybe even do a review out of it. Next up is a movie that I, it just disturbs me, and I've seen it once or twice, but it's got such great actors in it, and that is Zodiac, based off a true story, and look at that cover, I love, I love this, I love it, it's a letter from the Zodiac, but it's the Blu-ray cover, I just think that's really cool, love when they mix up the art like that. Another one is another Blu-ray upgrade from DVD, and that is Law Abiding Citizen. If you haven't seen Law Abiding Citizen, um, Gerard Butler and Jamie Foxx put on a show in this movie, very good, um, Honestly, it's it's almost a scary movie, too. It came out this week, 12 years ago. Take that for what you will. I really like it. Uh, next up, guys, is Boondock Saints 2. I have an itch on my face. It won't stop itching now. All right, Boondock Saints 2. We already talked about the first one. The second one, Willem Dafoe has died, and the brothers have to go on a mission to avenge their father, and it is just awesome. So, Boondock Saints 2, it's it's awesome. All I remember is the Dean Don motherfuckers line. That's, that's the only thing I remember from it. But I wanted it, again, upgrade from DVD to Blu-ray. Next one stars the great Tom Cruise, and it's a movie I've never seen. It's called Magnolia, and it earned him a Best Supporting Actor uh, nomination. I don't think he actually won Best Supporting Actor. I'll be honest with you, if I did any research before I did these videos, I could be like, actually, this is what won. But since I don't know, all I can do off of what this says. And my guess is that if he won Best Supporting Actor for this, it would say winner of Best Supporting Actor. You get the idea. But it does say he won Best Supporting Actor at the Golden Globes. But we all know he gave his Golden Globes back because he found out they were rigged. And he's like, I don't want to be part of a rigged system. So, Magnolia, I'm excited to check it out. It's a Tom Cruise movie that I haven't seen. And that's just exciting. Next up, guys, this is another comedy and one I have wanted to find on Blu-ray for a long time, and it is a DVD upgrade, and now that I have gotten this upgrade, I feel like my life is a little more complete, and that is Dodgeball. Grab life by the balls. I love this movie. Uh, it has some of the most quotable lines in it. I, it really does, of all time. Like, I think this is more quotable than even Anchorman, and I love Anchorman, but I think this is more quotable. Dodgeball is one of the most quotable movies ever made. I love it. And Chuck Norris is in the very end of it. Yeah, fun fact. Okay, guys, next up we have the movie SWAT. Another upgrade. This is actually uh, one of my YouTube viewers, one of you guys who likes to watch my upgrade videos, had recommended this to me a long time ago. Like, if you ever find it on Blu-ray, you got to check it out on Blu-ray. The transfer is great. So I took your advice. I found it on Blu-ray, and I'm going to check out SWAT on Blu-ray, and I'm going to ditch the DVD forever. Next up, guys, is an oldie but a goodie, a classic, one that my wife has not seen, and I've got to check out with her, and that is Seen in, in the Rain. Seen in the Rain it stars Gene Kelly, Donald O'Connor, and Debbie Reynolds. To be honest with you, Gene Kelly's the only one that I know. I mean, I've seen this movie several times because I watched it a lot as a kid. Uh, we were only really allowed to watch older movies, 
And it's a musical, something I don't normally like. So I'm wondering if in my adult life, I will still enjoy this movie as much as I did as a kid. And come on, that scene in the rain, it's just an iconic moment. Next up, guys, is another movie that I wouldn't normally buy, and that is A Star is Born. And I don't know why, but like, I heard, I think I do know why. TikTok ruined my life. TikTok was like, hey, everybody is going to play this song for a couple weeks and it's going to get stuck in your head. And then you're eventually going to see it and you're going to be like, you know what? I just should watch the movie. So I picked it up. Haven't seen it yet. Looking forward to watching it. My wife dislikes Bradley Cooper and Lady Gaga extremely. But um, so I may have to watch this alone. <laughs> Hopefully she watches it with me. And maybe I'll do a review on it if I love or hate it. I don't think there's going to be an in-between there is kind of what I'm getting at. Next up, guys, let's see what we got over here. We have E.T., the extraterrestrial. I actually just picked this up today. It was part of that Best Buy gift card. Um, yeah, it's on Blu-ray, and I haven't seen this movie since I was a kid, and I've only seen it one time. It's iconic. It kind of sticks with you forever. But what I'm excited to do is actually show my kids this movie. We have family movie night every Friday that I'm home, and so I'm excited to sit down here in the movie theater room and check out E.T., the extraterrestrial. They don't even know what's coming yet, but this Friday I'm gonna pop it in and be like, I'm gonna show you kids something you'll never forget. Because I never forgot it. I saw it one time when I was a little kid and I never forgot this movie. Never watched it again, never really was like, oh my God, I love this movie. I just remember liking it and I think that they will too. So, yay. Okay, next up guys is the movie. The Martian. I got it on 4K. I've seen the half of this movie and I liked what I saw. Fell asleep. Had to return it to Redbox. Never saw it again. Um, but again, uh, that Best Buy gift card today, I was like, well, might as well. So I picked up The Martian. To be clear, though, I did go to Best Buy looking for The Lighthouse because they said they had it in stock. But when I got there, they're like, oh, no, we don't have it. So there's that. But I did pick up The Martian with Matt Damon. I'm excited to check this out. And Matt Damon was just in uh, The Last Duel, which I did a review for. You should go check it out. Movie of the year. Next up, guys, we have a 4K movie again. It is War of the World, starring Tom Cruise. I love this movie. I've only ever seen this movie on DVD when I was I was too young to see it in theaters. So I'm excited to see this movie on 4K in my movie theater room with the lights off and the aliens noise as loud as possible. I do love the story, the idea that they came from the Earth. It's, it's just cool. They were here before us, you know, just waiting out their time. It's, it's neat. Next up, guys, we have... I'm going to move this DVD stack closer. Blu-ray stack. DVD stack. Who buys DVDs anymore? All right, guys. Next up, we have Hot Tub Time Machine. Another DVD upgrade to Blu-ray. I'm very happy that I have Hot Tub Time Machine now uh, on Blu-ray. I really... This is another comedy I've wanted on Blu-ray for a long time. I, here's the thing with Blu-rays. Blu-ray does enhance the picture. Not everything needs to be transferred to a Blu-ray. If you get a black and white movie, it doesn't necessarily have to be transferred to Blu-ray. It's not going to change that much because the way film was shot back then. But if I love it... I need it on Blu-ray. It's just, or 4K. I have to do it. It's just a thing. So Hot Tub Time Machine, I do think it's hilarious. And I look forward to checking it out on Blu-ray. Next up, guys, we have The Big Lebowski. Another DVD to Blu-ray upgrade. I've talked about it in these videos before. How can you not like this? Weren't they making a sequel? Weren't they making a sequel about the Jesus character? What happened to that? What? Well, that got pushed off for COVID, and then I never heard anything about it again. Is it happening? Did it happen? Have I missed it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Next up, guys, I have Ghostbusters 1 and 2. I love part two. I, I think part one is good. I love part two. I'm a weird guy, but it's Ghostbusters, guys. Come on. It, it's fun. And you got like, Ghostbusters Afterlife coming out this year with Paul Rudd right around Thanksgiving time. I can't wait for that movie. Yeah, it's got a bunch of the Stranger Things kids in it. I look forward to it. Next up, guys, I bought a steel book of a movie I thought I owned and I didn't. So I'm really glad I bought it. And that is Zombieland. And look at that artwork. I love I love it. And then look, you got the zombies on the back. It's just cool. There's no inside art. That's too bad. But I do love the case of Zombieland. I, I got the got the Steel Book of Zombieland. Pretty cool. Next up, guys, we have Blade Runner 2049. Now, Blade Runner, the original, is a movie that I can't not physically sit through. And I don't know what's wrong with me. I cannot put that thing in and watch it from start to finish. I can't do it. I always have to pause and come back later. I'm hoping 2049 is different. Um, it's got Jared Leto in it, so I know my wife will watch it with me. I'm excited to watch this movie. It's got Ryan Gosling in it. Got Harrison Ford back. But I haven't watched it yet. I bought it like a couple of couple of weeks ago. And, and I'm like, oh yeah, we should check out Blade Runner 2049. And there it sits, waiting to be watched. Next up, guys, we have a movie that I remembered fondly from the theater experience that I had. But it was not a good movie. And I tried rewatching it. And that is The Wolfman, starring Benicio Del Toro as The Wolfman. Anthony Hopkins as another Wolfman. And the guy that plays the Red Skull uh, as, as a wolf hunter guy, detective. 
it's bad. It's really, really bad. It's bad to the point of I don't even want this in my collection. I don't know what I'll do with this, but I don't want it. It's it's bad. I remembered this fondly for no reason. Moving on. Uh, guys, we have Mortal Kombat Legends Battle of the Realm. Now, they, they made Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion, and I watched that, like, two or three years after it came out, and I was blown away with how much I loved it. It was kind of when the Mortal Kombat hype was big this year. I watched it. Buddy at work was like, hey, you should check this one out if you like Scorpion. And so I was in Walmart late one night, and I found it, and I was like, all right, I'll pick up the Blu-ray. And, the, and the, the cartoon, the action is fun. I don't like the direction of this one as much as I like the direction of Scorpion's Revenge. I think that was a better story overall. Um, but I did like the tournament in this. The tournament was pretty fun. Uh, although, eh, bending the rules as they need to. And I don't fully understand Mortal Kombat, but like people would fight just until the death, and then they could decide whether or not they killed him. I thought Mortal Kombat was a fight till the death. Not really understanding. But maybe the next movie, whatever Legends movie it is, will explain more, I guess, maybe. Next up, guys. Okay, I, I bought one, two, three, four, five movies. I have five movies that are sort of horror movies. So I want to talk about those last because we are, you know, Halloween week right now, uh, and I'm excited for it. So I want to talk about these horror movies last, and the first one up is freaky starring vince vaughn i love this movie there is a review for it on my channel if you have seen the movie freaky and you want to go check out my review you should if you haven't seen the movie freaky treat yourself it's also on hbo max if you have that you can go watch it vince vaughn and this teenage girl uh, Catherine newton they go ahead and switch bodies um he's a serial killer and she's just a sweet teenage girl and then something happens and they switch bodies and so he the teenage girl's inside of him and the serial killer mind is inside of her and it's really 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 fun um seeing vince vaughn go from like this jason type killer and he really sells it to to like scared girl perfect love it love every second of it next up guys we have the movie trick or treat i found it on blu-ray I, I had this on Blu-ray a long time ago. It was taken from me, and I bought it on DVD because I couldn't find it on Blu-ray, and now I have it on Blu-ray. And look, that's what's under Sam's mask. That's that's the guy. That's the terrifying creature. I love this movie. I watch it every year around Halloween. I will be doing a review for it this year, guaranteed. I'm looking forward to doing a review on this. Next up, guys, we have The Wolfman Steelbook, which is pretty cool. And look at that. The artwork is just awesome. Oh, there's a digital copy. Um, and then the, the inside has artwork as well. And if I pulled these discs back, you'd see the Wolfman. Um, now this, this, this is the Wolfman. Not that other piece of garbage. This is the Wolfman. This, this is the one. Um, so happy to have this. It's such a nice steelbook cover too. All right, guys, next up, two left. The first one is, I, I got this for, for a birthday present from my wife, and it is Predator Steelbook. Now, I love the Predator movies. I have Predator, but I do not have this incredible artwork steelbook of the Predator. I love it so much. And I'm going to take the disc out carefully and show you guys the inside. That's the helicopter they're on going into the jungle. How cool is that? I love this steelbook of Predator. One second. Fear Leaf Tea. They don't sponsor me, but they should. And finally, guys, the last one I want to show you guys is American Psycho on Steelbook 4K. And look at this cover. Wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, that's the coolest cover ever. That is the coolest slip cover I've ever seen in my entire life. Because throughout the movie, he's always peeling off his little face mask in the shower. And that's, that's what you do here. And then look at this. Look at the back. And then check it out. His card. Guys, this is one of the most detailed Blu-ray 4K sets I have ever seen. I love everything about it. Best Buy's got it for 20 bucks right now. If you are a collector, it's well worth the money. Um, I, I love this thing so much. Um, again, I'm just one more time. That's cool. That is cool. Guys, that is my latest update to my Blu-ray collection. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you're having a good Halloween week, and I hope you have a fantastic Halloween. More reviews and other things coming your way, so make sure you hit like, share, and subscribe, because that always helps the channel. Thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you next time.